electricity is the lifeline of modern civilization. In India, coal-fired thermal power stations are the main source of electricity generation. In this process of electricity generation, fly ash comes as a byproduct. Fly ash is a very good resource material. It can be advantageously used in cement and concrete works as well as fill applications. This film depicts its use in cement concrete works. In India, about 70% electricity is generated in coal-fired thermal power stations. Indian coal has very high ash content, ranging from 30 to 45%. Annual generation of ash in India at present is about 100 million tons. Heavier particles of ash, approximately 20%, collected at the bottom of boiler is called bottom ash. 80% ash, which is fine, flies with flu gases and collected at ESPs is called fly ash. Fly ash has pozolanic property. This fly ash is transported pneumatically to the fly ash storage silo. Fly ash is collected in different fields of ESP. Coarser fly ash gets collected in first few fields and fineness increases in every subsequent field. The fly ash is tested for its fineness and unburnt carbon before dispatch for its use in concrete works. Fly ash is loaded in closed tankers and transported to RMC plant. Fly ash is also available in bags at NTPC Badarpur. RMC plant, fly ash and cement are separately stored in silos. Various construction materials like coarse aggregate, sand etc. are stacked at RMC plant and there is no need to stack them at construction site. Portland cement, when mixed with water, produces cementitious material. In this process, some free lime is also liberated. This free lime is the cause of porosity in the concrete. However, if fly ash is available in the mix, the free lime reacts with fly ash to produce additional cementitious material, which produces additional strength and makes the concrete denser thus increases its durability. The presence of fly ash also helps in reducing heat of hydration. Bureau of Indian Standards IS-456 permits use of fly ash as a part replacement of ordinary Portland cement up to 35%. This reduces the requirement of OPC and thus, the concrete is economical. The reduced requirement of OPC helps in conserving limestone and coal. This also reduces carbon dioxide emission and therefore is environment friendly. Cement, fly ash, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and water are automatically weighed as per the concrete design from the control room.
ready mixed concrete from RMC plant is collected in transit mixer and transported to site. Each concrete mix is tested in laboratory at RMC plant before dispatch to site. transit mixer unloads the concrete at site and the same is pumped to any location where concreting is required. We spoke to Mr. Rajesh Agarwal, Deputy Chief Engineer, Delhi Metro Rail Corporation Limited, about his views on use of fly ash in concrete and RMC. We in Delhi Metro Rail Corporation are using fly ash mix cement concrete in the construction of the underground structures for the obvious reasons of the strength and durability. Fly ash being a pozzolanic material reacts with the free line to generate strength for a much longer duration than a normal reaction. The fly ash mixing with the cement concrete gives the obvious improvement in the workability, in the permeability, in the low alkali aggregate reaction, lesser sulphate attack, lesser chloride attack and because of the low permeability and other reasons there is a less carbonation and corrosion to the reinforcement which also leads to the improved durability of the structures. At site, it avoids the use of site spaces from the occupation of the sand, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, cement and other constituents plus machineries and with a very least space you can work with an RMC plant. We spoke to Mr. Shiban Raina, Director General, National Council for Cement and Building Material about his views on use of fly ash in concrete and RMC. Fly ash, as we all know now, is no more a waste product but a resource material of great value which we should take advantage of, particularly in building and construction industry. The higher the free line in cement, the, the lower its total quality product. Fly ash gets a chance to absorb this free line because it has a uh, silica component which is active silica component in it which gives it uh, that much uh, flexibility to uh, absorb this free line. Thus 100 percent potential strength of ordinary Portland cement gets converted into reality. Now this part when we take into account we find that OPC gets converted into a better product when fly ash is added to it. Flowability increases. Construction industry adopted uh, in a big way now the concept of uh, ready mix concrete. At site you do not have to bother about storing not only cement but there is no need to store either sand or your uh, coarse aggregate or any other additive which goes into concrete just you have to order on phone and give a certain amount of advance notice of few hours only and ready mix concrete is at your gate. At present in India there are about 60 RMC plants. NTPC has made arrangements for free issue of dry fly ash at all its thermal power stations. In India thermal power plants are to come up in a big way to meet electricity deficit.
thermal power stations have still got a long, long way to go in a developing country like ours. And fly ash being one of their byproducts has a tremendous potential for its wise and efficient use at various RMC plants. To conclude, the various advantages of use of fly ash in concrete are greater long-term strength, improved workability, reduced permeability, low heat of hydration, increased sulfate resistance, increased corrosion resistance, reduced alkali aggregate reaction. It would certainly not be inappropriate to call this useful and valuable product as the grey gold of this era.